Oh, hi, YouTube. My name is Ricardo and I'm a wheel addict. It's going to be a, a bit of a weird one today because we have way too many people. So wish me luck and wish all of these guys like us. Check this out. The house is full. Nice. <laughs> I like you too. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me bring everyone in. We, we can uh, do it like. I can do it. <laughs> 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 What's <up? Framing> master. <laughs> <laughs> so for for everyone watching this, yo, yo Carson. <laughs> Hello, you too. Good luck, Lino. <laughs> <laughs> he found a way to put the headphones. Oh yo, you hey. <laughs> <New> shame. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. It's gonna be a a bit of a different one. There's way too many people to manage. Wait, wait, there's one missing. Boom. Is oh, here. Shit. What's Whoa. up, Scott? What's up, Yo, Yo. What's up Q? How's it going? Good. Good, Good to see y'all. Good to see oh, you. Yeah. So, here we go. I'm gonna pr I promise you that I'm gonna try to let you guys talk as much as possible. And I'm going to need to start with the person that I know that usually organizes the whole thing. I might be wrong with that, but Carson, how did the whole idea with the, with the project Cayenne started? Um, well, the Cayenne project started uh, in Roskilde. And if, you, if you've seen the video, Quadro, uh, you would know because uh, yeah, in the intro we we do explain um, a little bit of the process. Um, yeah, but we all met uh, in, in Roskilde Festival because like a few years ago, uh, a lot of us would uh, be invited every year and do skate shows and party together. So uh, we met up there and started the travels from there. Made a video, sold it, went to the next country, which was Greece, and then we went to Taiwan. The last one was Mexico last year. So that's what we what we were talking about today. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I did saw all of them and I actually have something here. Give me a sec. Ooh. Which, oh, which was on the last one. Nice. We'll get there in a second. I also had the Greek one and I wanted I to ask you one. guys if you're making for the new one. But before that, for everyone watching at home, let's make let's maybe just make a little introduction of why we're doing this basically the kayan project these guys the Ka can i call you guys the kayan crew yeah <laughs> yes okay so as carson just said a couple of years ago these guys that always used to meet at the road killed they started by doing their first video like a, it was a bit of a different video it kind of reminded me of the oaks 2 era without that much of traveling at least in the first video and since then this is the fourth video they the first the second one was in greece third one they went to was it uh taiwan taiwan yeah and the cool thing and now the fourth one they went to mexico city no to the mexico not just mexico city they went to mexico to make quadro quadro if you don't know any spanish quadro means a framed art piece and after watching the video a couple of times since I got it yesterday, it's really a hard piece. So I'm going to let them talk. But before that, I'm going to need to just play a little sequence of this. Just a little bit of... A, just a piece of the video, maybe, just to let you guys talk after it about it. So. <laughs> Da 
play in the story. And we keep I'm talking to you, you know. And we could keep going for a bit, but we're not. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna come back to reality. A bit weird for me because I'm actually just like most of the people watching this. If they're not watching live, they're gonna watch it after. I'm also talking to some of my skating heroes, so I, I get a bit nervous too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's three of you guys missing farmer didn't add no there's four of you guys missing chris farmer didn't add a fast enough internet then we had david sizemore and chris smith working and we have richie Arthur in china it was way too early five in the morning but everyone else is here but there's someone which is very quiet here i need to bring him back to the conversation cars Carson, what's up? Yeah, what's up, dudes? All good? Yeah, can what you hear me? Up to? I haven't seen you in a long time, but I also haven't seen you skate a lot. Have you been skating a lot or what's up? No, I, I had just got butt surgery. Uh, so I'm like recovering sort of. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I get these like crazy growths in my butt. Uh, <laughs> like, I'm, not, I'm not kidding. Like every five like years, I got to get it cut out of my butt. So, I didn't know that. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, I, I, just gotta, I just got it cut out again. Do uh, you guys want to see oh, it? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> X-rated. <laughs> we might get. Wait, wait. We might get. <laughs> oh, 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 dude, what? Oh, oh damn, shit. nice yeah, scar. Yeah. Fuck no. Yeah. Oh, good. So, so, I, I have, I've been just healing like, up. Dude, the man of many myths. Did you get a tattoo? Um, I basically got like a lemon cut out of my butt cheek. Wow. It's like a tumor. Oh. Uh, no cancer or anything, so. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Cheers to no that, skating man. for me. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, Damn it. Back 2020. <laughs> but uh, I tell you, Chris has been skating lately, which is pretty cool. Six. Um Mm. There's a lot of skating happening in Atlanta, actually. Uh, J Bod just got a new skate, so he's out filming every day, um, getting his edit together. His pro skate release. Edit. I hope I didn't just spoil that. I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm hanging in there. I'm doing. I'm doing good. Having a good time. Did you get a okay. tattoo? Oh. What is that? Oh, I got a Bailey yeah, tattoo. That Oh, oh damn! All right. Sick. Wow. I got that EB. When, Perfect. When were you in Bailey? Okay, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> um, when were you in Bailey? Allison and I did a road trip and we drove out to Boise and uh, stayed with Bales okay. for a couple days. Yeah, she oh, got a big one too. Pretty cool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so let's get back to the to the main topic here. And why Mexico City? Who had the idea to, to go to Mexico? Was it you? Or was it Benny? <laughs> or I think, it was Carson, right? I think I was pulling I think, for Mexico hard. Yeah. Yeah. Because I drink a lot of micheladas and uh, I wanted to get somewhere <laughs> where I could <laughs> have access to more michis. You know, uh, I, think I, I think I dragged everybody down there. Well, you were the only the, only guy. It, funny enough, like on the last videos, you you were already using the mask. It was kind of like saying where you guys wanted to go. So somehow, it was written. <laughs> yes. um, let me just try to to get my thoughts together here. Oh, the wrong way people. around. <laughs> Turn your way. phone the other way. <laughs> that's better. That's better. Oh yeah, I can see you now. You look good. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, I hold, if I 
hold it like this is just super uncomfortable, but yeah, I can I can hold it like, like everything. No worries. <laughs> there you are. It also looks Where like I'm kind of like talking to you like this, like a little bit. Like... <laughs> <laughs> is that better? Okay, so as that. All right. Continue. <laughs> along, the, <laughs> along the way, along the way, it seems like the crew has been changing a bit. I've seen note. Really? Yeah, note was in some was in at least some of the video was in some of the videos, wasn't it? Wait, he wasn't. Yeah, was he just he just happened to be there this year in Europe. Okay, okay. And, uh, and glow, I thought just glow didn't was part film of the crew. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what happened with glow? Uh, George, just couldn't make it. Just couldn't yeah. make it this time. Uh, Unfortunate. Yeah. Shout out to Josh. Uh, didn't we like have a flight for note but it was like a visa issue or something yeah we tried to um we, like we bo already booked a ho uh, hostel and everything we like freddie really tried to get him out there like we i don't know yeah. we tried they went to the uh to the embassy in thailand and i don't know they tried everything but didn't, it was like there was an issue with the the only flight layover had to stop in another country and he couldn't stop in that country without a visa right yeah yeah, it was like a three thousand dollar difference or whatever, like a crazy amount. It was kind of, but yeah, it kind of. Okay. Sucks. So, until now, the video came out yesterday. How is it going? Is it selling? Did a lot of people watch it already? What do you think compared to the other videos that you made? Is this video like up to twenty twenty standards or? Well, it's it's twenty twenty, you know. Everything everything's different. Uh, no, I, I, it's definitely selling, and uh, we have a, a a lot of positive feedback. Like it's been really nice. Uh, a lot of people have been reaching out to us, you know, sending us messages on all the platforms, you know, like Instagram, Facebook, whatnot. And uh, yeah, so the support has been really really nice. And, and we've had some uh, like smaller premieres since we can't or we couldn't do real premieres in, in movie theaters and. And what what else we would have done if it wasn't for fucking Corona? Um, so yeah, a lot of us gathered. Like uh, Carson did a premiere at his house in Atlanta, which looked awesome with lots of lots of sofas. And um, Benny did one in Dresden, in Germany. And um, yeah, there was I think one in, in Athens. And Joe did one in Barcelona. And you know, I did one in Hamburg. And so we kind of spread around, but just like really small premieres. And yeah, it's. Uh, so we've been, I don't know, trying to trying to sell it and uh, get some funds for the next one. I'm hoping. And we're selling photo books. I got them here. You want to see them? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Yeah. Where, where, where can we buy those? Oh, uh, we have a website. It's called thecayenneproject.com. It's great. Okay. Yeah, you should. Nice. Uh, you can buy it. Check it's it out. Like, uh, yeah, it's it's really big. <laughs> yeah. That's when I make the. That's when I said, like, you can check the link in bio Slinger. and do all those YouTube things. <laughs> yeah, that's good. And okay, so people YouTube at the moment they can buy. Way. At the moment they can buy the, um, the video, and the the book as a bundle. Is that it? Uh, yeah, or... we don't have. Yeah, you can buy either the book or the video or a bundle. But you this this time you don't have the book as a solid thing. It's just like a. Online. What do you mean? It's not solid. It's really solid. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like you won't be able to buy like it's it's 2020. No one sells DVDs or anything anymore, right? Everything, no, we never did. When you buy it, okay. No, it's better for the environment. Actually, it might not be true. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, we're just selling a digital download. It's yeah, it's it kind of sucks. You know, you you just sell something and it's a link. It's, nothing physical that's why it's so nice that we are doing a book you know you have something to hold on to to put on your shelf if you give and me five bigger, seconds i can get the deaf on deal are we are you having like five seconds i'll be back hold up okay five we seconds. have we have five seconds we have five, five. seconds <laughs> oh. Jonas. Oh. yeah i did not know that you were part of this project <laughs> i'm I kind of in the know. in the background in the shadows Okay, so oh, what exactly do you do in the, in the in this Cayenne crew project? Yeah. 
Uh, well, you know, helping designing those that Karsten is holding up right there. So size That's comparison, you know. You get more for so, your money. Yeah. All the like visual <laughs> identity stuff, you know, <laughs> graphics, lettering, animations for titles and sequences, uh, layout okay. of the book and everything. So yeah, yeah. They That's get it. to go on the trip, and I'm at home in the uh, by the computer all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going to ask. So you're you're actually not one of the lucky ones to go no, to go on the I trips. Was, uh, on the first one, I was there for a little bit. Like uh, when they came to Oslo, they were all staying here in the in my apartment, and I joined them down to Copenhagen. So like part parts of it, yeah. But that's about it, man. Like, yeah. That's awesome. Next time. Yeah. And the, Next time. And the guy sure. it. <laughs> it just didn't and work out. Is... Is... <laughs> Next time. Do you, guys, do you guys already? Do you... no, We'll get there in a second. I'm not going to ask it yet. We're going to get there in a second. First, I'm going to need to bring Dominic <laughs> into this. <'cause... laughs> oh, you're tired, man. Dominic, I'm going to be totally yeah, honest no. with you. When you On the first uh one that you guys like on the first book that not the second video first book that you guys made like the the greek one yeah i did not knew that you were that big into photography oh okay yeah <laughs> i knew it's the truth i i knew you more for skating i remember you shooting some like portraits of people at the summer clash but i didn't yeah. knew that you were so much into into photography how is the whole thing for you nowadays? Like, if you would split it, where is skating? Where is photography? Do you do it full time? Um, I mean, I make a living with photography and not with skating. So, I mean, it's difficult to split it in a way because, um, yeah, I mean, there's one thing for the fridge and one thing for the heart. And uh... <laughs> <laughs> my no, father always honestly, says that, dude. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, I mean, um, with the photography, yeah, as I say, like I make a living and I've been doing this for like actually a pretty long time ago. But um, yeah, I always try to kind of not mix it up that much. Like actually when I wanted to skate, I wanted to skate and not take pictures. And that I think with Cayenne Project change a little bit more into the direction that I also take pictures while skating. And, yeah, I think it's pretty nice. And now, how does the whole thing work? How do you split your time doing a trip like the Mexico trip or like the Greek trip or the Taiwan trip? Um, when you want, imagine when you want to do the trick, who shoots your pictures? Uh, David All Sizemore. All these guys are amazing with the camera. But... <laughs> David Sizemore or Carsten. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, but in general, um, yeah, I think mostly I take actually pictures. And then it's more like if I see a spot that I really, really like, then I try to skate it. But most of the times I leave the others like, hey, you got a trick there, okay, I'm going to look for a nice perspective on it and, um, yeah, just shoot a picture. And, yeah, sometimes also comes down to, okay, maybe I actually want to skate it, but, like, we don't have much time or it starts raining or something. And then I prefer to take the picture than actually do my own trick. Okay. Still, <laughs> it must be a weird a weird thing like dividing the way like i can imagine like if there's a spot that you really want to skate but at the same time someone else also want to skate would you put your skates on it's like it's just it's tricky at least for me i don't know there's not that many people doing wall rides you know <laughs> the wall ride spots are for dumb <laughs> no but I think, I think it kind of in the end like happens pretty naturally like it's more like yeah go with the flow like if it happens it happens if not it doesn't like I mean, that's the whole thing of the tour also. Like, it's, yeah, it just happens in the flow. Yeah, and it's, a, it's about having a good time with your friends and everything will come too, right? Yeah, 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 of course. I mean, that's like the main goal and like everything next to it is like just, yeah, as I say, like it happens. Okay, awesome. Now, let me just bring this guy in because people are just seeing a guy with a sombrero, but... The image is so small <laughs> that they can't see a bit a part of it. Check there the background. <laughs> if you check the background, Dude. there's clearly someone which is celebrating <laughs> that they just released the video yesterday or two days ago, two days ago maybe. 
<laughs> He's yeah, been celebrating. That's what post production <laughs> looks like. <laughs> yeah, kind guys. Of. This is this, this this question needs to come like for Benny and Karsten. How did you guys split the work? Because do you guys do like imagine different sections of the video are done by different guys or like imagine Karsten does what there's does the whole thing and then Benny goes over his work and just does some <laughs> corrections or how does that work? Well, usually it's both ways. Like we share it pretty much 50 50 but uh to be honest this time i didn't do that much editing uh it was mostly carson editing um yeah and then it's just like i don't know here's a version of the part we want to go over it um do some corrections here and there and uh, yeah do, do you guys um, specialize in different parts sounds, of sounds pretty boring but it's just you know uh, computer work what can you do yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah but most of the people have been doing a lot of computer work uh, the, th the question is like do you guys do different things in in video like in your video production like one of you guys work better with like color correction and the other one is better at cutting or do you guys just do it naturally yeah, so Benny Benny did all the um, all the all the color grading. Like he's really, really big nerd about it. Like he's really good at it, and I'm not that good at it. So he does it. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I, okay, so I, you're I, doing the cutting most of it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this time I yeah, edited a lot, a lot of editing. Took a okay. lot of time. Kind of fun too sometimes. Okay. How long did how long did it took to edit something like this? Because at the last Winter Clash, we saw a premiere of the first teaser, I think. And now it's been a couple of months. <laughs> it's been a couple of months. Um, and it's been months know. that people have been at home. So that's why I'm asking, like, is it? Yeah, we just didn't have time, you know? Just no, just so much to do this year. I don't know. I can't say. I don't okay. know. Why did it not happen? I don't know. I, I mean, the, the video was like basically like, the main part of the editing was like done early on this year, and then uh, yeah, it was just Corona. We couldn't. Our minds were just, I don't know, not there. You know, <laughs> I don't know how to explain what happened, guys. I don't know. No one had time. I guess. No one had I guess. Time to uh, <laughs> I have a thought on that. Like, I guess uh, people. You know, a lot of us are working as uh, you know our own businesses. I guess both you and Benny are as well, Karsten. Like freelancing, right? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, Corona comes along and then you got to earn a living, right? Of and course. jump at any any opportunity of the few opportunities that come along. Then passion projects yeah. have a tendency to, you know, get pushed a little bit back in the queue, I guess. I don't know. Different oh, for everybody, one. I guess. But yeah, it was it is. Uh, kind of hectic. Like, uh, you know, I'm guessing for more of you guys. Uh, uh, yeah. Like your unsure future, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It, I I, so, I guess the whole unsure it. future it's happening for everyone. But yeah. the thing is, I, I obviously I've never ever worked in a project anything close to this. I do my <laughs> shit. I, I always call what I do disposable because I make a like I film today, video's coming out two three days, and a week later it doesn't mean anything. You know, it's just like stuff that it's been done on a daily basis. It's nothing like this. This is obviously planned. There's a lot of like trips planning and all of you guys putting your bodies in risk for this shit. So to come out with a project like this, I don't even know how it works, the whole editing process. Do you guys need to put a deadline for yourself? Like, do, do you need to put a deadline for yourself before you actually say that you are going to have <laughs> someone's having a problem there <laughs> before, <laughs> before you even say the, the uh, premiere is coming this day or yeah, like, 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 like Carson said the, the main video was done like several weeks before the release right and uh, at one point he was just like calling it out kind of and which was a point when the stress started to kick in for me, kind of. But I was kind of 
good because otherwise we wouldn't have like finished the video in I don't know a year or so. So true. Yeah, it helps with the deadline. Yeah, like yeah. a I mean, proper yeah. date, not like soon. You know. Yeah, yeah. Mm. soon. Soon is a bad word. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we love it. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's a thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's a thing about Portuguese people, but I do know that a lot of times it only works when you're like, it's not just having a deadline, but when you're close to the deadline, you know, because you just procrastinate. You just go, go, <laughs> go. But then it's like, fuck, it's in a week. Yeah, I should be here and I'm actually here. And then somehow I started working and at least I'm not going to say it's better because obviously if you do something with time, you have more time to, to evaluate everything that you do. And again, I never worked in a project like this, but in the, the stuff that I do, I end up just like sometimes improvising ends up working. But in something like this, I have no idea. Now, I got someone that I actually need to bring in because he's not talking too much. And I haven't <laughs> seen him skate too much. I did know, I do know that Scott Queenie left Razors and what... What you been up to? Just been sitting here in my basement since pretty much. Just hiding <laughs> away, you know, <laughs> in the world. I'm waiting for this call. For now. Um, yeah, <laughs> I've been pretty busy with, uh, with, with family life and big changes with um, career and everything, you name it. But um, I'm still skating for sure. I've been meeting up with, I've had a few uh, nice dates with Karsten recently. Um, okay. But yeah. Skating's still there. It's never stopped. It's just I've had still living uh, in Denmark. Other, yeah, I'm still in Denmark. Yeah, and um, yeah, skating still is still there, hundred percent. We've been filming a lot with um, with David recently as well in Copenhagen, and yeah, as I just said, Carson's been coming back and forth. I went to Hamburg, and so there's been other, there has been things happening. It's just um, many other like priorities came into play, and I just really had to to focus on that of for course. a while. For like the past year pretty much and um but yeah man i'm still skiing definitely <laughs> we, got, we got the musketeer just joined he's back <laughs> <laughs> yeah joe <laughs> kind of like vita <laughs> vendetta that, that is that, internet is working that movie. yeah so um i'm using my phone as a hotspot so it keeps cutting out well, yeah, yeah. so what's up, what's up with that beard though? This is it. <laughs> the other one. Yeah. <laughs> Looking good. Thanks, bro. Yeah, man. Wild. It really looks Yo, like a musketeer, man. Should have won, won that. Harry, no bro in the comments. What's up, bro? Yeah. Harry's Harry is always up. here. Marco. Oh. Marco, what up, bro? Oh, good. We got What's a couple happening? people watching. What, what so are we here's talking the thing. about? Yeah, we were actually talking with Scott about his, what he's been up to. And we need to ask you what you're up to because most of the people didn't weren't here. No one was here before us. So we were talking about okay. you moving to Barcelona. You want to tell us a bit more what you're up to? Because the weird yeah. thing here is that since the whole corona started, you were in the US, right? And you kept traveling not, like nothing's happening what's happening yeah i mean i was cautious but you know i didn't want to be stuck at home so i just i got stuck in america <laughs> you were stuck in the best <laughs> place no yeah <laughs> and I'm, like, ramp. I'm not going back to, i'm not going to be in a city right now i'm going to go and find a ramp somewhere in the middle of nowhere and luckily enough i just met a guy uh called tim in indiana and he said that I could come over anytime and come and hang out. So I was like, sweet, I'm coming over. And then I stayed at his place for two and a half months. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. And ever since you've been to Croatia? Yeah. So or... at first I was in Indiana and then I went to like Chicago and then I went down to New Orleans and I went to New York. And then flew to LA and then flew back home to London, spent like two weeks there and then flew to Malaga and I went from Malaga to the blading camp, flew to a contest in Croatia, in Osijek, <laughs> and then did the contest. There was no audience. It was weird. And then, <laughs> and then like, 
Um, Typical 2020. What the fuck? Yeah. I know. Uh, Joe, Joe's the super spreader. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> super spreader. Did, did, wait, did, didn't Always they one, put though. like everything that they do in soccer now that they put the screens in, in on the seats just like for the no, like for people and people pay for the screens? Have you seen that shit? Really? Like yeah. on your wow. on on people's seats in soccer, they put like a screen. And you you can pay to be for your face to be there. Can you imagine like Shit. on a skate event, people would need to pay for like <laughs> yeah. dude winter clash 21. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Winter clash. Yeah. They just announced it, you heard? <laughs> Everybody can join. <laughs> Wait, oh, well. and meanwhile, you, yeah. you ended up moving and from from Croatia, Barcelona, Wait. and now you're living in Barcelona? Yeah, you didn't let me finish. <laughs> okay, sorry. I went to, I went to um, did the contest in Croatia. I did really bad, by the way. I fell over, sucked. And then my girlfriend flew over from America and she got stuck in Serbia because she thought it'd be easy to come over the border from Serbia, but it wasn't. So she got stuck in Serbia, had to like, fuck around getting a, a COVID test so she could pass the border. But like in order to do that, she had to like go online at 10 a.m. on the dot and like with a few a few other people, they had to fill in a form and, and like submit it. And if you were like 10.01, the, it was full. So like she only had like this little window to get this, this test. <laughs> It was crazy. Did that make sense? I don't know. But um, <laughs> but yeah, so she got over anyway, but it was stressful. And then we just stayed in Croatia. We're like, well, dude, we're cool now. Went to the coast, uh, found a place called Zadar, chilled there. There was like a bowl, a sick bowl. It was like a squat, but the guys had just built a bowl there. So we just like chilled there for like a month. And then I thought, why not go to Barcelona? And now um, you're living in Barcelona. Yeah. That's the thing, right? Because yeah, from all, on all those places, we're just staying here and there. Why moving yeah. to Barcelona? Of course, we all know it's awesome, but like... <laughs> yeah. No, it's Barcelona. Yeah. I mean, it was when we, when we arrived, um, we didn't realize how like everyone here is wearing masks and stuff. Like in Croatia, like no one was wearing masks. It was all really chill and as soon as we arrived in spain it was like oh shit it's real here like so yeah and then they decided to stay <laughs> but yeah i mean why not <laughs> it's still pretty good but we found a hack that if you wear rollerblades then you don't need to wear a mask like you know so you just wear rollerblades all the time and you don't have to constantly have your mask on and the cops can't find you what <laughs> yeah. yeah is it yeah. because Usually in a lot of places, if you're doing sports, you're actually yeah. not allowed to use it, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you don't, yeah, so that's it. You just go out with your skates on and you don't have to wear a mask. Like the cops don't say anything. Okay, now let's go back to Mexico. Let's keep... <laughs> Mexico? Let's keep... <laughs> let's keep... <laughs> what do you want about Mexico? Arriba! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mexico. Let's let's start with this. Wait, let's start with this. Guy in the story was talking to you, you know, talking to me about you guys. Did you guys come over here and you know play with, the, with that shit? I'm like, that's awesome. That's one thing that people here don't understand. Man, the war is so small. Well, it is not, but it is. I mean, think about it. You know?
Bravo. Bravo. That was a sick man. So sick. That was sick. <laughs> Cheers, yeah. Well, well Scott was like, you guys uh, can read the comments. Long. People like the thing is, it's I'm actually my English is not my mother language, and when I'm old with all these guys, actually, it gets <laughs> oh, really, it gets really, <laughs> it gets really weird for me. But now we actually need to speak about the whole video and like the behind the scenes highlights of all that and all that. So I would I would actually ask Joe for the highlight of this Mexican trip. The highlight for me, yeah. Had to be Richie Hill bombing that. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you guys we made it look. Video, you put it in there, but you made it well, look sick. We tried to hide it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really funny. Wait, 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 what happened there? What happened? What did you try to hide? Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> before we go into this, let me just say in the last uh, segment, the segment we just watched. You know, the first guy, he had, like, red stains all over his shirt. And I thought, like, when you approached me, I thought it was blood on his shirt. And I was like, oh, okay, it's weird. But, yeah, no, he was really nice. But, anyway, no, the, the thing that Joe was talking about is, like, a hill bump. Like, we tried to set up this cool hill bump in uh, Morelia, which uh, looked fantastic. And we thought it would be so fun. But, um, yeah, it, it, I mean, it was. And Richie is usually really good at hill bombing, but for some reason... He didn't want to ruin his wheels or something, but so he just like, you know, how the skiers, like when you're the beginning of a skier and then you try to like, <laughs> I don't know, like go slow. Like, <laughs> he's just, he's tried to go down like that. It looks so stupid and Richie's looks cool usually doing this. So yeah, we had a great laugh about that. Like every time, I don't know, he just kept rewatching this footage and couldn't believe how stupid Richie looked. And um, <laughs> in the end, yeah, we didn't end up using it in the, in the video because yeah, it looks stupid. But in a way, uh, yeah. yeah, it's really funny anyway. I got so another highlight. Yeah. Oh, he's got a highlight, boys. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave this one to Carson. Okay. Yo, Carson, what? tell him what happened. Tell him the gossip. What, what, what kind? Other Carson. Oh. Stones. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> A man of many myths. Yeah. yeah. You have no sound. You have no sound. You got to activate the sound. Uh, Carson told me to mute <laughs> myself. He's like, yo, nobody wants to hear you. Just mute yourself, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I was thinking about like that first time in Mexico City when we all, we all got up in the club. And do uh, you guys remember that? We were like... We were like partying out in the out in the streets in Mexico City, and then we went to like this three story club. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I can't tell that story. <laughs> what are you What are you talking about, Joe? <laughs> the skate park, right? What's the gossip? What do you mean? Do you need to tell them this? This is the best gossip ever. I tell everyone this story now. Um, you gotta say it. <laughs> should I say it for you? Is it too pers? Is it personal, Carson? Oh, that gossip. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really care. I, all right, I'll tell it. Yeah. So <laughs> like, uh... Dude, I found another picture. Actually, another um, picture of it. Yeah. So basically, we're like at this uh, at the <laughs> skate park. Uh, we have like a big session in in Guadalajara, and there's like like a couple hundred people there and everybody's going and like getting farms autograph and like going and getting Richie and David's autograph. And I'm feeling all like, like <laughs> not pro, you know? And then, <laughs> and then this one lady comes up and she only wants to talk to me. And I'm like, fuck yeah. Like, this is what I deserve. You know, this lady's like, <laughs> starts like taking my video and she's like, you know, like taking all these photos and she's like, puts her daughter in front of me like you know take photos of my daughter like she loves your skating or whatever and this this daughter is like four years old and uh you know we take a bunch of photos this and that and then we split up and then i meet her i meet her parents like everything's really cool and then like an hour later she comes up to me and she's like carson i gotta tell you something she's like <laughs> 
she's like my daughter she's like i used a I used a sperm bank to have my daughter and i chose you <laughs> uh, <laughs> so the girl who i was taking photos with for like 10 minutes is is like 50 percent my dna <laughs> <laughs> Serious gossip. <laughs> so uh, that's what happened to me. She got real on tour. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna get my voice right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was going through my phone one. today. I found another photo of Carson actually. Oh, you should send it over. Wow. Yeah, well, my dad. I, I got it. You can just share your screen, man. <laughs> I was looking for this okay. girl in the video. I didn't see her. Nah, she wasn't in there. But I, uh, I just didn't didn't cut her in. But yeah, I I, I know exactly. Was there any mean. part, Karsten? Was there any part of the video that you didn't put on the video, but it it could be on any other video if it wasn't for this special project? Like, how much uh, footage do you have? Like, I mean, I, to be honest, it was it's kind of tough to uh, to film in Mexico. Like, especially in Mexico City, it was really really hard to sketchy? get clips. There was uh, no, it wasn't really felt sketchy because no, right. I mean, the, the police is driving around every three minutes, you know, and there's security at every building, so you feel very safe. But for, for street skating, it sucks. Like, every good building had security. In Mexico City was like. You think the city, you know, the city is huge, big buildings. I don't know. Everything looks great at first sight, but then it was really hard to find spots. And the first two days we went really well, and but we stayed for a week, and it was like clips. I mean, we I think we managed. Um, but yeah, uh, you're saying about the uh, clips that were left out. I guess. Uh, I mean, Joe had too yeah. many clips, so we didn't use all of his clips, just to make the other one look better. You know. <laughs> yeah. That's how it is, you know? Kill your darling. Who made who made the voice that we hear in the during the video, like those narrations? Oh that's uh, Jorge Sanchez. Uh, it's, he's a friend of Miguel, uh, Miguel Martinez from Hamburg. Uh, okay. who also grew up well, does in, he live uh, in Europe or is he in yeah, yeah, he, Mexico? He, he lives here in Hamburg and, and does like a Mexican night here and but he grew up in um Mexico City. So I showed him a preview of the video and he's like, oh, I know this spot. I know this market. And my father does this flea market here next to Skate Park and whatever. So he was like really cool. juiced about it. And also I showed him the video and he's like, oh, this is a very nice representation of Mexico. So yeah, I was uh, hyped about that. Nice. That's sick. That's sick. It looks awesome. And and with what Giannis was saying, like the, the work that it does behind, like to give it like the, the right branding to each video. It's it's really cool. Like you guys like take <clears throat> take attention to detail to yeah, it's awesome. Like seriously, the attention to detail on every little thing. Like even yesterday, while I was making like the just a, a stupid thumbnail for this thing that we're doing now, I sent it first to Carson. and he was like, Hey, here's some branding stuff, try to edit. And you know, most of the people do not care about that type of stuff, but that's what makes the difference. That would, that's another thing that makes the project so special. Obviously, the skaters are all amazing. Like, yeah. everyone behind the project is amazing. I don't know. It's just awesome. That's why I was going to ask, like, where did you guys get the support for these to actually happen? Because... It's not cheap to fly all these guys to Mexico and to be there. For how long have you guys been there? I don't even know. I was close to a month, like three to four weeks. But um, unfortunately, uh, Quinny couldn't come um, for, for the whole time. So he only went for, what, like five days or something? And then to Guadalajara, yeah. the Mexico City was like kind of a short trip. But he made it happen anyway. Um, and also, who was there? Short David? No, David said go trip, right? Uh, yeah, it was a bit late, but I don't remember. But no. yeah, most of us went the whole time. But, yeah, and where did you right. get the cash for that? Did they pay it from their own pockets? Do like did the skaters pay it from their own pockets, or you guys get sponsors for this thing that somehow help covering the costs? And or do you use the money from the previous VODs? I I have no idea how the whole 
thing works. Yeah, the, the idea is to um, to use the the sales from the last video. So like uh, the hundred percent of the sales from Famosa, they um, they went into into this video. But like only for like flights and uh, like accommodation, rental car, and um, it's it's not a, a profitable business. Let's just say that. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah, no. it's it's a group of like, friends that actually get together to do yeah. like to get some stories <laughs> for when they grandparents. <laughs> um, yeah, in a way it is. It's a, it's a it's a passion project for all of us, and um, yeah, it's. It's like the whole sport of inline skating. It's a non-profit business, you know. It's actually changing. I don't know if you have an idea, but who, like, I don't know how Joe well, feels for about you. it. <laughs> no, no, I'm not, I'm not even talking about me, but like, but even, even with what I'm doing, I can't actually complain about it, but we, yeah. probably Joe would be, as the world champion, would be the best guy for us to ask anything about it. Because how, how do you feel that the whole corona is actually changing what you do, Joe? Um, yeah, everyone's buying roller skates and wheels and any kind of wheels these days. So, yeah, so, um, it's supposedly booming. Yeah. I mean, I see in Barcelona, I see like a hundred people a day on inline skates. That's not the quad skaters or the skateboarders. So yeah. Where's all that money going? <laughs> well, well. <laughs> If you think of like, think about it like, uh, Dominic just left, but Dominic is in Amsterdam, and you guys know Evo from This Is Soul, which wasn't actually one of the sponsors from these, but I also, uh, I think, yeah, Queen is here. Queen, do you still work for, for Skate Pro? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so maybe you can tell us a bit about the numbers because I do know yeah. about Holland. I don't know exactly what was the percentage with Evo, but in some places. Selling skates went up more than 500%. So <laughs> <laughs> that might mean, I mean something. What what happened sure, with Skate like, Pro? Uh, with Skate Pro, I mean, I, yeah, it was a positive, but it was also like a situation that like ran out of skates. Every, everyone yeah. ran out of skates during that period. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was like the world was not ready for that. The whole industry wasn't ready for it. China wasn't ready for it. Like for the manufacturers, you know, like everything. So um, yeah, of course it was it was in a major boom. But then of course, then everyone actually suffered because everyone the demand was so high that people just couldn't. Be they were losing your sound. I have no sound on you. I was from anywhere. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess I. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys feel the same, but like somehow it, it looks like the brands right now they are selling a lot, but they don't know what to do if they should actually invest a lot in new stock, and then it, they don't really know what to do. But that's the problem now. I would say that would be the best time for you guys to get sponsors for the next project because that's when the companies would have money and would want to invest in marketing. But at the same time, I do not know what like aggressive skating or rollerblading brands are doing with that. And with that, I'm going to actually ask Karsten if you guys have already thought about the place. I know that you're not going to just say it here, but have you guys <laughs> thought about the place where you want to go next? I mean, there's ideas for sure, but it's uh, Corona times, you know. You can't you can't play uh, can't plan anything. Um, yeah, yeah but like you. usually on the previous videos, how long did you need it in advance to say like I want to go to Taiwan? We need two months. Mm. I think the Three decision months. on Mexico was kind of late. Honestly, it was really hard to find a find a place and also find a time for everyone because um, everyone is busy with with their lives to like find three three weeks uh, off. You know. So I think the decision on Mexico was made in like last year in July, I think middle of July or something. And then we went on tour in November. So yeah, we had like three or four months whatever to plan. Like, it wasn't that much. Um, yeah. But the, the idea with Mexico was that, you know, we went to Taiwan before. So we had a, a huge contrast in, um, in the places, like in, in the spots and the people, in the food, um, and all of that. So we really wanted to have something, like something warm, something yeah that just looks different and feels different. And um, yeah, so I think we, we accomplished uh, a big difference. 
And yeah, let's go to Iceland. <laughs> so, Joe, if you could, if you could, of course you can. Choosing one of the, choosing between Greece, Taiwan, or Mexico. Oof. If you would make like Taiwan. another video, which one would you go? Taiwan. If I had to do it all like, all over again, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't know, Greece, Greece was really, really cool for me because it was, it was the first one I was on. So, Greece was really cool. Hey, I love Greece. <laughs> and the crew there was amazing, but crew everywhere has been amazing. So, really, you can't can't say that. And how different is it? How different is it for you? Because most of these guys actually. <laughs> oh, here we go. Dominic Wagner. <laughs> and this is the show. And now. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> like you, you actually also been filming with Dom West in some of his projects. How different is it to film with Dom or with Carson and Benny? A yeah, good question. Mm. Mm. Well, like for example, <laughs> If you make it everything noise, first try. <laughs> if you're making if you're making like a bit of noise on set, for example, you won't get told to like Benny won't tell you to just be quiet. He'll just throw a bottle of water at your head. <laughs> Whereas like Dom would probably be a bit more Swift. Yeah. Can you hear the echo? Am I echoing? I think my wait, check. Dominic, put your headphones on. Keep telling you. <laughs> <laughs> it's echo. Yeah, yeah, it's shut up. <laughs> Maybe whoever is not talking, I'm gonna ask you guys to keep the um, keep it on mute and only activate the sound when you're talking. It might be easier for all of us. Mm. So you're saying that the way that Dom Oh. works is completely different like a lot more like focused on like well i guess getting it's the perfect when when i shoot with dom usually it's just me and dom or me and a few others so you know it's like way more intimate and you know you he, dom also i've filmed with him for for a long time now so you know he knows like he knows my like trick vocab he knows you know what i can do here and he you know it's a different thing but when i'm working with um with the cane crew it's like everyone's kind of in a rush in a way and there's like everybody needs to get clips you know and it's like you can imagine there's 10 of us wanting to get a trick on this <laughs> one spot when we all pull up so it's like and uh but the guys yeah Carson and benny they do a good job of like giving us all attention and making us all feel you know filming us all and uh yeah they do a good a good job so um but yeah, completely different thing. But I prefer sick, sick. I prefer to film people like one on one, you know, like. Um, well, then you're not invited right. anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <it's great. laughs> great. I'll make my own. I'll make my own tour. <laughs> oh, you are. Your own Cayenne. <laughs> no, I, I, it's it's funny that you spoke about the whole. Uh, everyone getting clips because Richie posted something on Instagram. I don't know if it was on stories or on Instagram the other day. Of he was saying that the fake, um, it was something was fake about the the clips of. I think it was David Sizemore number of clips. I think that's from from Taiwan that you guys always try to. Do you guys do that? Do you guys write each name and how many clips do you have so that you guys make it all get? No, the the stubborn. clip kind. The, yeah. The clip, um, yeah, every year we have a clip count. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, if you don't get a clip, you got to eat a cricket at the end of the day. <laughs> that's just that's just how it goes, man. And how is it for you? Because because you, Carson, like you have that's the thing that must be very very hard for Carson and and Benny because all you guys have such a different way of skating, like. Dominic and you, as an example, the skating is completely different from like 
Joe as an example. I, I don't or Richie. It's just like all of you guys are different skating. So it just it must be weird. At the same time, it's cool because no matter what the spot is, everyone can do. Someone can do something. Yeah, it's but helpful because we don't do. we don't like bite each other's tricks so much because everybody wants to do a different a different trick or a different spot. So having the diversity helps with a bigger group. Um, are I you still a really lot into? Are you still a lot into DIY spots? Because a couple of years ago you came to Portugal, all you wanted to skate was all those DIY weird type of shit. Are you still? Yeah, into I just want to skate of... like uh, I just want some hundred stair rails right now. I just want to do the six 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 rail. Okay, you gotta rail ride it again, <laughs> the, the, yeah. like like you rail ride the other one, not the six 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 rail, but something like that. Was it on the first video that you rail ride the kink the kink rail? Mm. Was it in? Yeah, yeah, it was in Hamburg. You... Yeah, I was very lucky. Um, <laughs> apparently, nobody had ever grinded it, and still, no one's ever grinded through the kink. Yeah. Uh, so okay. yeah, it stands. Okay. Well, come by, guys. I'll happily film you grind it. It's it's like <laughs> a kilometer from away from my place. Like I would, Chris tried I'm to true top saw it. Yeah, but he tried to true top saw every everything on every trip, <laughs> but he never got it. You know, so it's still open. No, did you just say that? <laughs> you said you never gets it. Wait, did did, did he try to true top? <laughs> No. Did he? Did he? Did he true did top? It? So did he try to true top sold that market ledge? That no, no, no. The trick he did was amazing. The back full torque. How was it? No, he didn't. How was it? He did a top torque so the, Yeah, top torque sold and yeah. I mean, the true top sold is always in in everyone's minds. It'll come. It'll come. <laughs> what okay. is Joe doing? What the fuck? <laughs> He's playing with a fish eye. Well, I mean, we could so play, we... shout out Ramp and Camp. Big up yeah. yourself, Dog Blader. Hey, Quinny, what Dog happened on that clip where you you like ran into that lady? Uh, what one? Yeah, didn't you like run in front of a bus and like hit hit some lady with a shopping cart or something? In this video, am I making shit up? I think so. Sounds like Greece to me. Yeah, I almost, oh, that, I almost uh, bumped into a woman in the <laughs> for, uh, for music. Yeah. Oh, in Greece as well. <laughs> you tend it to was do that this time. Oh yeah, just I just yeah, get, there's been a few run-ins, but uh, but yeah, Greece. <laughs> I, yeah, Carson, I don't know where you are, but yeah, there's one in Greece and there's one in uh, Taiwan. I'm sure yeah. we would find one in, in in Mexico as well. I got it. I got it this time. True. I nearly, I nearly killed a a pedestrian. <laughs> <laughs> let's try to let's try to bring Dominic while Dominic is in. Dominic, if you could choose <laughs> Dominic, a favorite yeah. trick, yeah. <laughs> if you could choose a favorite trick for the whole quadro video, who would it be, and what trick would it be? Ooh, very difficult one. Um. I think I would go with Joe with the last line. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. he, he's the champ. <laughs> Was everybody saying that? I don't know. <laughs> no, no one said anything sure yet. Uh, you were the first uh, one. You were the first one that I asked. Now I'm going to make the art uh, question to Joe. Joe, if you would take one clip out of the video, which clip do you think that shouldn't be there? Is there any clip? Uh, oh, shouldn't be there. Obviously, obviously Dom's uh, wall ride to back rail just lie down. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> no, that, was, that was probably one of the, one of the highlights. <laughs> um, your clip, your two or like a couple of clips you, you have like really come in and really punch, man. So respect. And um, any clip I would like to take out, um, downhill for Richie? Yeah. <laughs> no, we needed we needed more of that. Okay, we needed more of that. Um, clip should have taken out. Mm, tough. I know. I actually can't think of anything right now. 
Uh, probably cool. better to That's ask, good. Probably better to ask Carson or Benny because they were probably like, you know. Hey! Benny. Hey. What shouldn't have been there? To be honest, I liked every clip. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's, oh, why it's, that's why guys kept yeah. it, obviously. <laughs> um, so, should we watch the magic sequence? I did. Should we watch it again? Yeah. Yeah, let's watch some, let's some, watch some of video stuff. Give me one second here. Wow. Yo, you got some other stuff too? No, let's talk about that one because that one was crazy. Like, that was the craziest scene in, in all of from the whole trip, I think. Like, that's just the craziest uh, moment. Like, that was a clown. There was a clown, like, holding the holding up the traffic for us, you know? Wow. Yeah. Only in Mexico. I love the music too. Obviously, it's very <laughs> Mexican, but the thing is. You guys had to. I did got the music. Did you bought the music? Did you record the music? No, actually, actually um, my uh, my friend Eve uh, Eve Adel, he uh, composed the whole soundtrack for it. So we had a different. Um, yeah, it was a dis different structure this time on, on how to how to do it. You know, so um, but I think he did a great job. Okay, maybe maybe this song was um, a typical mariachi song, but you can't really replace that. You know. But it's like super old, I don't know. But yeah, every okay. other song. You, you, um, was you also told me cool. something about the soundtrack that you might want to yeah. speak about it now. Right, right. No, um, yeah. Uh, so um, we are also doing like an official soundtrack, which is gonna be on uh, on Spotify uh, on Monday, I think, um, with like extended versions. You know, we have the uh, there's the night uh, track, for example, which is more like a techno track. And um, we just cut it to, down to two minutes, but like the original version is like nine minutes. So um, yeah, we're gonna put like extended versions. You know. I'm sure Joe will love it. It's a long, <laughs> banging track. <laughs> yeah, and banging. so you were saying that this was actually your your favorite part of the whole trip, like skating this market, or was there any? What was the highlight for you? No, I thought it was just like one of the most uh, interesting scenes. Like you just show up, and then Chris has the idea to to skate this like pretty amazing drop ledge, but all the odds were uh, against us. You know, there was so many people. There was uh, the in run, um, which you just saw was like this just narrow, um, narrow way in, in between all these people like selling what like uh, sound boxes and and, and I don't know, jewelry, like anything close. Um, and then the outrun was also super packed. But uh, the people that were like super hyped on us um, showing up, trying to film stuff, that uh, they would try to make space for us. And like, I mean, like I said, there was a clown uh, making space for us and all kinds of people like, uh, I don't know, it was it, it's such a surreal scene. Taking like, pictures with him, that was sick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, it, I like the girl who's like, Slinky. <laughs> <laughs> Slinky. She's all about him. Like you can do it, Slinky. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and if you like, we were talking about the. I, I was asking if this would be one of the highlights of the whole trip for you. You said it was one of the most interesting scenes. 
as a highlight, yeah. if you could choose the highlight of the whole trip, what would it be? Is it in the video? Oh, that's a good question. Um, if it's in the video. I think th there, there's certain highlights and most of them uh, we, we did record, luckily. Um, I don't know. There was just the memorable thing was like, like the car crash, like on the way back from Guadalajara to Mexico City. Like we were just driving in the van. It was all dark. Benny was driving and all of a sudden it was just like, <laughs> you know, and we were like, holy shit, what was that? And we stopped and, I don't know, just on some blood underneath the car and, and all of a sudden farm like pulls out this huge pipe thing from the car. Like, I don't know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. And it was just so funny because like, it, we also had a crash on the way to Guadalajara. Like the same thing had kind of happened, like a random, a random, uh, like on the, on the autobahn, uh, you know, on the highway. They, um, there was a, also some like metal pipe or, what, or whatever hitting us, you know, and then all the way back it happened again. In the end, it costs us a lot of money. Like, suck. Like, on every trip, we have these like rental car issues. But now it's like a joke almost. Yeah, but that's, that's the type of shit that when you do these type of trips, you can always expect those. You, sh you don't expect them, but they end up happening. And you guys actually yeah. somehow have. Well, I mean, I, Freddy, I, don't know if I can for example, say that you've been lucky. I don't know if you can be lucky. You can say that you can be lucky or something. But like, if this would be would be like probably in the early two thousands, the skaters would be would thought it was funny. Would would be thinking it would be funny to completely destroy the hotels or the places where you would stay. So that that would probably be a bit more of a problem for the organizers, like for whoever puts their name. Right. I'm trying to get a place to stay. So at least something <laughs> changed. Uh, Joe, you've been traveling a lot. And I'm sorry that I'm going to yeah. go back to you. But you've been traveling a lot. And uh -huh. in Mexico, if you would compare it to the places where you've been, did you felt less safe, safe in some places? Or it was all good because you're skating? Mm. Well, when we first arrived... I was pretty sketched out, actually. The, the the hood where we had our first like spot, our Airbnb or whatever, it was really <clears> sketchy. And there were so many cops about as well. And I was like, what the hell? What's going on in this place? But then I actually realized, I actually, I, I think it's probably the best place I've been in the world that, that people have accepted what we do, you know, in a way. Like everyone's like, everyone, like we said, people will be stopping the traffic for us and like, Everyone got really hyped everywhere we went in Mexico about the skating. Was, so that was really yeah. cool. Because like in, in Taiwan, I don't know if you know about this, but we, um, we had this guy come up to us on the street saying, Oi, I'm, I'm from the press and I'm from the news and I, I really like what you guys are doing. It's great. And then followed us around all day. And then the next thing, like a day later, we hear about, we hear that the guy made a really bad story about us saying that we were vandals um like tourist vandals or something or or like foreigners foreigners coming to vandalize our our <laughs> town and like all this shit, like bounty they put a bounty on our heads you know, like, and all the all the old people in the metro were like looking at us like it's them. It's them. <laughs> we gotta get the fuck out of vandals. Here. <laughs> yeah so so like yeah it was um mexico was really chill everyone we met was really cool didn't meet anyone like sketch or anything the people we were with were like like if we were, we were we'd been out having some drinks or something and we we're all fooling about in the street and like some dodgy guys would come over then all the locals would be like hey don't don't mess with those guys let's go you know like they had a really good they were really street wise and and um, but we're all pretty streetwise in a way, I guess. We can. It wasn't too too sketchy, but yeah, you just gotta just have a bit of have your wits about you, and um, yeah, you'll be good. But the locals, oh my god, they were they were the best. Like all the local skaters, they were really cool. They really looked out for us and showed us a really cool time. So thanks, you all. It was great. Agreed. That's sick. Like something like I've, I've been to Mexico City only once, 
I've been to Mexico a couple of times, but only, I don't even know if I would call it Mexico yet. Tijuana is way too close to America. And I always felt more sketched in, in Tijuana than in actual, in actual Mexico City. I was in Mexico City for like two days only, but one of the nights I went out and I came by myself walking for like one and a half hour in the city of Mexico that a lot of people would try to get you scared about or whatever. <laughs> It didn't felt scary at all, at least compared to Africa. <laughs> now, <laughs> yeah. the South truth Africa. is, like, the locals, you, you spoke about the locals. I didn't met Mexican local skaters, but they always, like, all the South American skaters or, like, all the, I don't know, like, I wouldn't call it South American because they would be, I don't even know, Central American, right? But like those Latino American skaters, they're most of the times they're like completely different from American skaters in a way that they're a lot happier and it kind of <laughs> it's kind of like what you described. I don't know if and they yeah. push themselves in a different way. Mm. Did you guys saw anything like crazy with the like with the local yeah. skaters? I, I wanna need to ask Karsten about it because Carson, because he's just like here, <laughs> kind of bring him back, <laughs> back in the room. <laughs> you're, you're in, you're no, no sound. Morning, Carson. <laughs> Man, fuck. Uh, yeah, Mexican I was just thinking, skaters. Uh, Mexican skaters. Come on. Uh, the whole time. You already showed us the is... bum, now the butt. Now we want to see. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude, uh, <laughs> just a, a breath, breath of fresh air, our buddy Arturo, he'd give you, like, the best translations of all time. <laughs> you know, uh, I, think there's, I think the clips that didn't make it into the video are, like, outros of Arturo. Like, <laughs> he said, like, after the fakey seven. When I watched the video premiere and I saw the fakey seven and the clip was cut, I'm like, no. I mean, you had to do it, but it was a heartbreaker. Um no, man, we had like, you know, we had a couple of people pretty much just jump in the van and come with us. Uh, they'd meet up every day. We'd skate. They'd show us the spots. And it, it was just really, really helpful. And, I mean, it happens everywhere you go, but the, the dudes down there were, were particularly were particularly helpful. And, and some of the chicks down there also, which was <laughs> something we haven't had uh, in other tours, like kind of just the homegirl squad like skating with us and showing us around is is a nice element that's cool well, with the whole gender equal equality thing i don't know if you can say it this way or whatever when are you guys adding a girl <laughs> to the to the crew sooner or later you're gonna start hearing about it <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we could just throw all the guys out. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> Get all the whole ghost squad. I don't know. What do you think, Benny? Yeah, it's good. Okay. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Joe could just get guys, the makeup on. I don't know. It's just, then, just Joe and 10 girls. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> to, to the bang bus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. He did just say that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, it's getting pretty late for some of you guys. I know that for Carson is after 12 and he's gonna need to wake up in four hours. I'm just gonna show you one last thing here, and I'm gonna just first Did you start filming because of skating? And if so, how much did skating actually um, affected your life in what you do, in a good way or in a bad way? Uh, yes and yes. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, yeah, <laughs> of course, uh, when I, like every kid, I think, growing up skating, at some point you will start filming uh, each other you know at first maybe not the, the the filming is not the most important but just like to document each other and I don't know, at some point it just evolved into me uh, wanting to film more than I guess I skate more than I film nowadays 
our film as a, at least skating wise. Um, but yeah, I don't know it just evolved into uh, me having the possibility and Benny also to film like some of the best skaters in the world, which is quite insane to think about. Um, because they all are my childhood heroes, basically. And uh, yeah, and the other guys. Ooh. But I also love the thing. The question is like, I know that you're nowadays working with some, I don't know if you, at least you were, I don't know if you still are working with a, with a snowboard brand. Did that came because of skating because of like you being used to film like moving stuff or. Um, yeah, in a way, I mean, uh, my friend, Danny, <laughs> who I grew up with in Hamburg, uh, who I grew up with blading here, um, and he was also the one that like we were filming each other blading. He like um, got into snowboarding pretty early on, and then got got like sponsored early on, and then got for um, sponsored by the brand who I'm working for now. And then we just I don't know. He took me along to to go snowboard, and I made an edit, and they liked it, and then we uh, kept on going with that relationship of uh, yeah making videos. And so I've been filming snowboarding also for like ten years, and now it's like a yeah. Do that a lot as well, but um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're coming close to an end. I'm just going to ask you guys, like, obviously, for everyone yeah. watching this, if you haven't watched the video, in the description of this video, there will be the link for the Cayenne, the latest Cayenne project, Quadro. You already know where it was filmed. We've been talking about it for the last hour and 20 minutes almost. So make sure to check it out. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to need to ask you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna need to. <laughs> I'm gonna need to ask you guys if wh what's gonna happen next. Obviously, no one knows with the whole coronavirus situation. But did you guys have like a plan B? I, I have no idea how how you guys would do it or anything like that. I, I seriously have no idea. But if <laughs> if if they don't find a solution, if they if there's no cure for this whole thing and if we're going to be stuck in our own countries in a way somehow for the next five years is there a plan b or a, a solution that you guys have thought about it instagram live the whole tour just ourselves there's someone here just <laughs> Just video no ideas here. Now I was just Jonas. asking, could <laughs> I don't know, man. Up to you guys. I'll uh, try to brand whatever you uh, whatever you figure out. I guess. Benny, did you got any ideas with all those beers in the back? I don't know, man. It is what it is. Um... I'm sorry, I'm my on my white shirt. What? Maybe a, a German one curry. with you guys there. <laughs> I just got curry on my white shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess we're coming to an end. I'm going to just give it away. What? Like You just got here. One last. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to give it away one last part. There's like a, a night. I think Ooh. that's the night section. I don't really know. I really don't know. Yeah, oh, it's not. I got this little. Yeah, I got a night section here that was provided to me by Karsten. So let's see if we can play it. Maybe I'm gonna play without sound so that you guys can comment over it. All right. Here we go. Let's just cut. I'm on the big screen. Oh, Arabic word. Yeah. Oh, oh, what happened yes. there, Karsten? Carson, what happened there? Yeah, see. <laughs> Why are you wearing <laughs> it? Work. The getaway van, dude. <laughs> so, yeah, that was supposed to be the intro, right? And then we yeah. got it up. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Yeah, we did that not making an intro. That was sick, though. Oh, yeah, this line was yeah, sick. This is, yeah. Yeah. We filmed the everything Guadalajara around that block, actually, around that market. And then this backside ended up being pretty ugly. No, I like I it. So. I, I really cool. like that. It's really cool, man. And this I one. This one's I love great. this one. Surf's up, bro. Yeah, that ledge, Dude, if that ledge was like twice as long, you would have done it. 
What? That dude. Oh, Pablo. If the ledge was Pablo. double the oh, size. This, this is a hot clip. That was sick. Oh. Richie's one clip right there. What's the next one? Richie, how did, he, how did he jump over like an 18 set? Like when none of the homies were there. Dude, dude we filmed oh. it. We filmed it and then he's like, oh, this sucks. Let's not use this. <laughs> and then they were editing it, like looking back, like I also like threw it away. And then we're like, holy shit, this is actually really good. Oh, look at these guys. He's always. Oh, Gitching the <laughs> what happened oh my there? God, this guy was so just drunk, drunk, man. Drunk guy. <laughs> yeah, he he peed right there, like when he was getting it sucked. <laughs> Sick line. Oh, yeah. How was that line, Quinny? Jumping into the narrow. Oh, there he is again. Oh, that's the same clown from the market scene, actually. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that was also a crazy meeting. We started uh, filming there, and then, um, yeah, all these like lowrider cars showed up. It was a big lowrider meeting. Mm. And then we had a street party. It's not allowed to drink in the streets in uh, Mexico, by the way, so we had to be a little careful. Right. I forgot about that. That's Ooh, long line. Dude, ASA. The crazy line. Guadalajara. Oh, oh my God. Oh. David's reaction to this cracked me up so hard. Uh, like his face. That was fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> David's right. And I got so one last I, mean, I got one last piece to show to everyone that has been watching this until now, which is the f I don't even know the name of it. I think it's the Guadalajara part. I don't know. I'm just gonna play mm -hmm. it. Let's see. What else have we got? Oh yeah, this was outside of Mexico City. Like last three days, that's our guy at Arturo, uh, who like really held it down for us. And um, these are some favelas. I don't know. We didn't really go in there. This is a typical Mexican. Look at. Did you see how the guy like turned around just to look at David? He was really, really confused. <coughs> yep. That's it. Farm didn't want to skate King Rails this trip because he thought he um, wants to do something else, but. <laughs> 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 he couldn't stop couldn't himself. Huh? And I thought it was great. I mean, we all thought like, "Oh my god, you got to skate this! Looks so sick." And he did, and it looked sick. So, yeah. sick. so controlled. Did you guys saw yeah. the guy from oh, New York? That that guy. I'm like, yo, what? Yeah, what was that? up with that, dude? What are you gonna do with that? Is that a magic wand? <laughs> <laughs> did you guys just see that? I'm swinging the stick. Yeah. The security. So good. Oh yeah. Guys, this cuts so quick, so much to talk about. So many dogs Sick. and cats. Yeah. Oh. It's the first day, right? Not like Corgi, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Yo, what happened? Um, That's so sick. Yeah. This one's the bomb. The stroll, right? Stroll. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you call it? Crazy. Stroll. I like, got everyone talking. <laughs> that one. Carson, where's your uh, where's your mask? Your wrestling mask, la lucha uh, mask. I left it in in Athens back in the day. Ba it's at Nick's house. To the blade yeah. Athens blade house. Back in right. the day, that was sick. That was a badass shot, Joe. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's good. It's good. Oh, that's sick, oh, man, fun. Carson. Oh yeah, there was a bar right next to it, which was great. Oh, 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 so oh, oh, Always one up in me. That's true. <laughs> 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 so much control though. But no, that was really You gotta step out. your game up. <laughs> and, uh, okay, man. I guess we're we're I done. Think. So guys thank you so so much for let's just give me a second here i'm just trying to thank you so so much for this time i hope that the numbers of these will actually be big and you guys will be able to be on a on the next project anytime soon um, go buy it i will that'd be nice go yeah. buy it everyone and buy this beautiful <laughs> photo book by yes. uh, 
Dominic, Freddy, and Jonas. Looks lovely. I just, I'm gonna send it out soon. I just have to go on a trip. Yes, sure. Oh. Ooh. You guys remember yeah, how big um, the, the, um, the Death on Dio book was? This is bigger. Yes. Holy shit. Yeah, you awesome. haven't even seen it yet. And the, the Formosa physical copy. Bigger, it's the bad. It was like this. Big and shiny. Big and oh, yes. That's I okay. Can, if I order it now, when am I going to get it? Um, Next year. <laughs> <laughs> Never no, no, if you're scared of COVID. <laughs> Never. No, what you... no we, we send it out in 10 days. I got to go on a trip okay. tomorrow. I can't send it out tomorrow in the next 10 days. But then afterwards, okay. we send it all out. We gather all the orders, and then we send them all out. So that everyone gets it at the same time. Perfect. All, All good. Right. I'll order mine after this. So that'd be nice. Thank you. Yeah, I will order it right after this. So thank you guys so so much for your time. And uh, thank for you. Everyone man. Watched, <laughs> for everyone who watched for everyone who watched this. Well, yeah. Oh man, that's, that's it. the reason why I make these things. I just want to have you guys and everyone that makes any skate related stuff but i need to finish this with a special guy i i need to have Jonas just telling everyone to subscribe and it's all good man i just had to finish it thank like you, that Lino. so thank you guys so so much <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I, I need to to admit it was very very weird. It's the first time that I tried to have a conversation live with so many people, and at the same time, as I said it previously, all these guys are people that I look for some reason, like either their video capabilities, skating capabilities, whatever. All the all of you guys are pure legends, and for me to be able to be just having this conversation with you. I can only say thank you. Thank you to everyone who watched it. It's because of you guys that I'm actually able to do these things. And please keep being awesome. So <laughs> let me just you play too. that outro. <laughs> thank, thank you, you so, so much, guys. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> bon appétit, Carson. Nice to have a party, yeah. We're out. If you guys want to stay, we're going to talk. Yeah. <laughs> I got to sure. call it a okay. night.